hair and that's that nice kinky straight texture that looks more like an african-american hair type so you guys if you want to see how i got this look please make sure you stay tuned but before we get into it make sure you give me a thumbs up make sure you subscribe to the channel click that bell so you can get notified whenever i upload a new video and let's go ahead and get this wig done And a lot of stuff. So look at that texture. Look at that beautiful, natural, kinky, straight texture, you guys. Beautiful, beautiful. So it does have a lot of parting space that you can use. It is a full lace wig. So I will be doing some full lace wig type of things to it. <laughs> so I did go ahead and bleach the knots, tint the lace, pluck the um the hairline. Here I'm gonna just show you guys the different variations in the lace. Don't, doesn't that look so natural? It looks like scalp. So pretty. But the thing that I kind of didn't like is that the, the front had a different lace than the back. So if you are going to be wearing braids or anything like that, you're going to have to struggle with the different type of lace that it has. So here I'm just showing you guys how it would look if you straightened it. And it's so pretty, so beautiful. But I didn't straighten this one because I wanted that natural, big type of hair. So right now I'm going to work on um, the hairline. I did go ahead and cut the lace above my ear tabs to make sure everything is fitting perfectly because I will be braiding this hair. And I don't want to, you know, braid a part that I have to cut off. And I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of the um, sideburns to it. Doing the hairline, I'm using the Gatsby Glue Spray and the Hot Comb to lay down the edges. Now I'm going to just brush through the hair and we're going to go ahead and get this hair ready for braiding. So you can just braid the hair in whatever kind of way that you like. I didn't have no kind of, you know, guidance. I was just going, you know, I was just going with the flow, doing whatever I wanted. So I just braid it like the first half of the head and yeah, I will be back and talk to you guys after I'm done. So here she is all done and like I said, there is two different type of laces on here. So you are going to see that, you guys. So my um, tip or trick for that is to add some concealer to it so that you won't see it as bad. Now, I just did a rough little ugly job of it. You're going to have to try to match whatever color is going to be under that lace to make sure everything, you know, flows right. But yeah, that's just a quick little fix for that. Now, I've added it to my head using the Gatsby Glue Spray. I don't really like how the hairline came out because it looks straight and boxy so I'm going to go ahead and go back in and add some baby hairs. This would be a great time to add baby hairs to this look. So I wanted to try a couple of different styles. I just threw a headband on back there to see how that would look. Um, I'm just showing you guys another difference in the color variation but you can easily add the concealer. So yes, different hairstyles. I'm going to just go ahead and add that ponytail and see what that's looking like. The half up, half down. Maybe even a bun at the top. What do you guys think? I want you guys to comment below. Let me know what hairstyle was the best for you. So I am gonna end up doing the bun at the top. I really, really like the way that came out. So you guys, you don't have to braid it. You don't have to do anything you don't want to it. I'm just showing you guys the different ways that you can use this hair. And now let's go ahead and dive right into the slate draw. I am you. <laughs> 